good evening to all of you in this particular presentation i am going to release the nifty and bank nifty weekly trend levels so for the coming week so coming week will be starting from 10th of august to 14th of august so 10th of august to 14th of august we are having this report 10th to 14th of august and i will again remind you all this 14th of august also in my earlier video i have told there is a trend change date as per the wd gans method so this also i have explained in my earlier video so you just have a look on this 14th of august so 10th to 14th of august this trend report i am going to release so before i start this releasing of this report or before i explain so let me little go to the last week's analysis so if you have visited our website smartfinancein.com so here in our youtube channel you will get that video so so last week also i have just given the weekly trend analysis using the one standard deviation method so this particular report is last week also we have released and many of you would have gone through that so there is english and hindi video then the day one performance in the day one how it has performed how it has worked that also i have just given it here so day one also how it has performed that also i have given here so here today i am going to again describe for the coming week so that i have given for 3rd to 7th of october uh, 3rd to 7th of august this levels also is visible here so so this last week how it has worked that we will see so before i start i will request all of you view this video till the end and if you have not sus subscribed to our youtube channel do subscribe this channel and if you like this video please do share with your friends and give a like in the video so i am i'll be going to the bank nifty's level first so here these are the analysis we have done for the bank nifty and i have told you for last week so last week we have done this analysis for the bank nifty i have told you 22071 above you should buy these are the targets and 21462 below you should uh, sorry 21319 below you should sell and these are the targets and the first day performance also i have shown you first day bank nifty has gone to 21085 and it has opened at 21480 so 21480 it has opened 2185 it has gone so as per our calculation we have got the first target here however on the reversal of the trend we did not get the second buy entry so here the sell entry we made and first day itself we have received the first target remaining targets has not happened there is a reversal and that reversal has not gone to our buy entry level which is 22070 and you can see the data point here you have gone maximum till 22000 so this is what happened and it has closed 21771 so in between our sell entry and buy entry this is the level it has remaining part of the day or from second day onwards it has oscillated between this band and it has never gone to this level so this is what for the bank nifty so look back to this nifty nifty how it has performed that also we will be seeing here so i am just going for the nifty and here i will be selecting the expiry and historic data 7 days so here so so here how we have so 3rd august to 7th august this is the this is the levels so same process happened here it has opened at 10993 on the day one gone to 883 low and closed at 913 so 10883 it has made so 10883 so very close to your second target this point you have come and from there the reversals has happened so reversals has happened and it has gone till a high of 11277 11277 so here you can see 11174 above the buy trend was there 
and 11,277 very close near to this it has achieved very close near to this it has achieved so downtrend it has given second target uptrend so below this target 3 it has closed so slightly below this 5 to 10, 10 points below this uh, it has closed so this is the performance of the last week so now move to the coming week and i once again tell you here we are just running one independence day offer all our softwares and books courses you can get at a discounted price of 16040 and it is valid till 15th of august 15th of august and if you are interested you can opt for this package and i am demonstrating this first software one standard deviation software which costs 6490 for one year so let us test for a couple of weeks then you decide so here for coming week where the nifty will be that i am going to show you so nifty for coming week analysis we will be seeing the nifty 11289 above there will be a uptrend and one standard deviation software i have used seven days i have used and if it is maintaining above 11289 it has all probability to touch 11640 there is a reversal zone here 11386 to 429 so this is the zone from where the reversal maximum chances of reversal is expected as you have seen in the last week so this i have colored it because of the fibonacci principle this is the level from where the reversals will start and downtrend 11169 so we have closed at 11229 so from here if the downtrend starts 11000 72 to 11,029. This is the reversal zone or our third and fourth target. So, third, our third and fourth target, and this is the reversal zone. So, if it is coming here, maximum chance is there it can reverse. And if it is penetrating this, then you can see 11,800 and 10,818 also. So, beyond if you just go. If it is successfully completing 11,604, it has 11,800, even 12,000 also third cycle. Same way, if it is breaking 11,818, before that itself, your 10,970 level, your second cycle starts and it can take you to 10,600, even 10,400. So this second cycle, third cycles are possible if there is a if trend continuation happens either in the upside or in the downside or else the maximum probability that we can swing between the first cycle in this particular volatility situation we are having it currently vix around 23 percent so in this 23 percent of vix we can expect only the first cycle to start so this is the level for the nifty for the coming week which is starting from tomorrow 10th to 14th again i will remind as per my earlier video, I have told you, as per the GANS principle, 14th August, there is a trend change date. So if you want to learn GANS method, we have sufficient courses. These calculations also you can do of your own. So this, you can visit my earlier videos. You can able to know that calculations, how we have done it. So now coming to the bank nifty. So here, bank nifty also I am doing the calculations. And after doing the calculations, I am just doing this load data and I have calculated. So 21,795 it has closed last week. So now Bank Nifty, we have given one information here. Buy and sell entry should be done 0 0.382. Why these deviations? Because Bank Nifty is a highly volatile instrument as compared to nifty so 0 0.382 fibonacci retracement we are sticking for entry so it has closed at 21795 monday or any time during the next week if it gives you a breakout above 22109 or 22110 you can buy and if it is giving you a breakout below 21482 you can sell and once again i will repeat here every time i suggest that you must hedge your positions hedging is a great 
tool you must utilize this so you must utilize this hedging hedgings without hedging future trade please do not do it so any mathematical calculations any mathematical calculations have the limitations that that it can produce you wrong result whether it is one standard deviation whether any technical parameter whether any kind of any study you use in the capital market context it may go wrong so for that reason hedging is highly essential for future traders so so you must ask me how i can hedge if you are buying the bank nifty at 22110 i will suggest you at least you can take one 22000 put options put option along with this better prefer for monthly options weekly options are very toxic and they are having a higher time decay factor so opt for the monthly options 22000 put option you can buy along with the future buy this is the simplest hedging same way if you are selling at 21481 you must hedge it with a 21500 call options 21500 call option you must buy along with this so you sell a future by 21500 call option which is nearest to this and it will be properly hedged so your expectation will be 21286 147 and even 20462 so go on trailing accordingly however you must hedge your trade so this is the levels for the bank nifty for the coming week and once these levels are penetrated you can see the second cycle or third cycle and reversal zone as like the nifty this is the reversal zone 22304 and 22443 so if it penetrates this then only higher levels will come same way 21286 and 21148 also is the reversal zone for the downtrend for the bank nifty so i will suggest please Have your trade and follow these particular levels for one week and you can know that how this real-time volatility along with the one standard deviations and the Fibonacci principle works in the trend forecast. So here we take a real-time estimation of the volatility, we use one standard deviation for estimating the price range and then we use the Fibonacci principle to project these levels. So I will request follow these levels and give your feedback by next week. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.